We can say with confidence that a secret space program definitely exists. We have a great amount of video evidence and astronaut testimony of incredible anomalies in space. Just because the government refuses to acknowledge this doesn't make it go away. This lie has been going on since at least the Second World War. We're talking 80 years now. Governments need to maintain credibility. So once you start lying, you've got to keep that lie going. You have to keep doubling down. We can say with confidence that a secret space program definitely exists. Now, of course, to a large extent, the U.S. government and military acknowledge this. I mean, on one level, the United States cannot hope to dominate military engagements without having a strong presence in space. From a purely geostrategic point of view, space is a critical theater of operation, and it must be protected from adversaries, which means the use of encrypted advanced communications, new technologies whenever possible, and so on. Now, of course, we have to recognize that there is a wholly unexplained phenomenon, both on Earth, in Earth's atmosphere, and in space as well. We have a great amount of video evidence and astronaut testimony of incredible anomalies in space. Just because the government refuses to acknowledge this doesn't make it go away. Something extraordinary is up there, in Earth orbit and beyond. Some people argue those maneuvering objects are man-made. Others say that they're extraterrestrial. But either way, it's a strong case for a secret space program. Because I mean, if it's ET even, clearly the military and the black budget world would need to monitor and deal with that as much as they can. That by itself would require a secret space program. They can't exactly tell the public that there is another highly advanced intelligence operating in our world and in orbit, so they have to respond in secret. Now, there are two real questions that people in the UFO and related uh, fields want to know when it comes to a secret space program. Does such a program have a relationship in some way to UFOs or UAP or even extraterrestrials? I think the answer to that is a resounding yes. And the other question is how advanced is the science and technology behind such a program? I don't think we have a definite answer, but I do think based on a reasonable filling in of the blanks, certain breakthroughs have almost certainly been made and are being used in a secret space program. The question really is how far are those breakthroughs? And I've never seen anyone who is confidently, at least in my opinion, able to answer those questions, not definitively. There are a couple of reasons for the secrecy on this subject. I mean, first of all, when we talk about uh, secrecy of a covert space program, we're really talking about the part of that space program that deals with aliens or UFOs, because we recognize that there is going to be secrecy, you might even say legitimate secrecy, in a conventional geostrategic element of a space program. But we're talking about the exotic uh, elements of it here. And you cannot separate out the reasons for secrecy of a, of a space program like that from secrecy about UFOs in general, because they're both very closely related. Now, first, we just have to say the narrative must be maintained. In other words, this lie has been going on since at least the Second World War. We're talking 80 years now. There might have been a chance early on for the government to come clean on UFOs, but they've, they have lied so long, they have to keep lying. And it's not an easy thing to switch out your answer when you have adamantly maintained something different for so long, when you've gaslit the public for so long, when you've developed a huge secrecy bureaucracy for so long. I mean, people are going to have questions. They're going to be angry. There's a loss of credibility that every government has to avoid. Governments need to maintain credibility. So once you start lying, you've got to keep that lie going. You have to keep doubling down again and again. But step back from that and look at some other elements of the situation. There's a good reason to believe that the government, if we can call them the government for, for now, that they don't really know how to handle this situation. In other words, this situation of other, what seem to be other intelligences that are here interacting with this 
world of ours and with the human race. I, I don't think, I think they feel outmatched by what they are dealing with. Or it's also possible, frankly, and this is very seldom discussed, that they've been compromised in some way or another. After all, there have been rumors for years of out and out collaboration in one form or another with aliens. I know that sounds outrageous to some people, but there have been quite a few of these claims that have been made from individuals with very professional backgrounds. The question is, is this claim true? Now, of course, we don't know, but there are quite a few of these accounts. So if it's if it is true, that's not an easy thing to broach. Again, especially after such a long time of operation in that mode. And also secrecy usually happens because it enhances someone's power and often their wealth. It is likely that much of the advanced science and technology used in the secret space program is classified, which means that the general public not only is not likely to learn about these things, but it's probably illegal for them to try. This is one reason I'm sure that for the current attempts to create a kind of global wide legal system regarding things like intellectual property protection. You certainly don't want some genius savant in uh, India or Croatia or the Central African Republic discovering a breakthrough that already is being exploited in the classified world. When you get right down to it, this secret has to be maintained because revealing it is just too explosive whether it's just UFOs in general or a secret space program in particular. Well, I would say we need to start with something more modest. We, the people, need to be able to learn the truth accurately and fully. And the first thing we need is to stop being gaslit and lied to. We need to get confirmation on the existence of genuine UFOs, that is non-human intelligences, and I mean, all the aspects of the concealment of this reality. Otherwise, we're living in a world of total fiction and illusion, and I don't think any of us wants that. Now, whether that can even happen, whether we can get a genuine, honest confirmation, that's a good question, and it's not the easiest one to answer. We're talking about a structure of secrecy that is like a labyrinth. But I, I do think it is possible that we can get good answers and maybe even truthful answers. Now, if it does happen, we're likely going to be seeing a seismic sea change in our world, our politics, our society, uh, even beyond the things that we're seeing today. And I think you know, such a change is going to be resisted with every bit of strength that those individuals in possession of the secret have. You can ask, well, does the public deserve the technology that it paid for? Well, you, you know, the answer is yes, of course it does. But we might want to ask, how safe is some of this technology? How safe is some of this science? Do we, do you want it? Do I want it shared willy-nilly if it allows someone to blow up half of a continent or an ocean? Because what if that is the case? It's not hard imagining. You might trust yourself with that knowledge or power, but maybe your neighbors don't trust you very much, or maybe you shouldn't trust yourself anyway. And plus, do you trust everyone in your neighborhood, much less the rest of the world? Now, the sad reality of this is probably that some of the more revolutionary technologies won't be released until there is some kind of genuine global digital uh, dictatorship fully in place to perfectly monitor the public 24 seven. A lot of people have argued that capability is close to being achieved already. I do suspect that once the human race has successfully been turned into some giant anthill with no more wiggle room for, for true freedom, that we might then see some of this tech related to a secret space program coming out. Because, it, you know, the idea is that it's got to be controlled. The most important point for the very few people at the top of our human food chain is that the narrative must be maintained and that their position at the top must not be threatened. It's all about power. And the fact is that if you control global finance, you control legacy media, big tech, the intelligence communities, you've got pretty much everything you need. Overcoming that won't be easy. There are undoubtedly positive beneficial technologies energy generation come to mind, maybe um, in the form of even transportation or who knows a whole host of other 
elements, uh, biological sciences, we really may never know, or beneficial things in other aspects of tech that people might want to have access to. It's entirely possible. And that could be very helpful for us and could make the world in a better and easier place to live in. It's totally possible. Uh, what we need is information. And we've got to be able to trust the information that comes to us. And again, that's going to be a, a tricky, tricky problem for us uh, on the outside trying to get this information. Now, as a final word about the event, I'm intrigued and interested by the upcoming conference. This is the first Silicon Valley conference on the secret space program and its technology business applications. If, if anyone is wondering about the possibilities and challenges inherent in developing new tech derived from a secret space program, then I would say you, you do very well to enroll and participate in this event. Uh, these types of events, uh, by the way, usually have a way of surprising us. And I, I would be shocked, frankly, if there were not a number of gold nuggets of information or insight that come out of this. We're talking serious out-of-the-box thinking here, but let's get real. Who really at this point doubts that there is a sophisticated and secret presence of highly advanced technology 500 miles above our head. We will discuss above top secret technological developments at the first Silicon Valley Conference on Secret Space Technology Business Applications. Experiencies and witnesses of advanced technologies will present how they have interacted with innovations and discoveries far beyond our current reality, but one day possibly becoming our reality. In this conference, we will discuss the futuristic civilian applications of these technologies to our economy. It is about time that we start challenging our current beliefs and limitations and start to envision a more advanced civilization for us and our children. One day, we may be using some of these secret space technologies to build viable civilian business applications.